Wike is set to erect the longest bridge in Abuja, Nigeria. This one you are looking at right here is the one that he newly constructed and opened recently in this year 2024. But it, it seems like this one isn't enough. That's why they are planning for a new one. Take a look at the sketch. The sketch of the new one. Look at how what, what it looks like. Just like the bridge they currently have in Abiyokuta, the Panseke Bridge, which is the longest pedestrian bridge in Nigeria and top saharan africa wiki is said to make this type of bridge right here in abuja you know at the moment lagos has a longer bridge than the one in abuja while abukuta has the longest in nigeria and top saharan africa In case you don't know, Sub-Sahara Africa or Sub-Sahara or Non-Mediterranean Africa is the area and regions of the continent of Africa that lies south of the Sahara. This includes Central Africa, East Africa, Southern Africa and West Africa. These are the Sub-Saharan Africa. That means Abibuta has the longest pedestrian bridge in the whole of Sub-Saharan Africa. Even though Wiki has not come out and make the announcement publicly that he is going to build the longest bridge in Nigeria or Africa. He don't usually do something that is minor or trivia. When he wants to do something, he normally do it in a giant way to prove that he is the king when it comes to building structures like roads, a bridge, and so on and so forth. We all know that Abuja residents actually need this uh, longest pedestrian bridge, like uh, the location that are overpopulated, which usually cause hold up, especially during the rushing hours, like in the morning when workers are going to work and business people are going to work, and then during the evening when they are returning. Those places like uh, Mararaba, Axis, they are overpopulated. They need this uh, longest bridge, pedestrian bridge, places like uh, Karimo. Uh, if you come to Karimo on Tuesday, which is their market day, you will spend many hours trying to cross the road because of cold dog. But had even this thing in place now, then it will ease the movement of people. Then the next place is a uh, AYA. AYA is around the Ashukuro. That junction really needs a pedestrian bridge, a long pedestrian bridge in Abuja. It is in the city and people are always there, overcrowded, especially morning and evening. Evening is so much because people always close from work almost at the same time. And also people doing business come out at the same time, evening time, when they close uh, businesses. So it's usually overpopulated. This one you are looking at here, this pedestrian bridge, is, is the one that uh, Mike newly constructed and uh, commissioned recently in Abuja. But I know that he will do more. Other places that need this uh, longest pedestrian bridge is uh, Wawa. If you know of Wawa, 
during the market days on Thursdays, there used to be too much hold up, overcrowd. People would be struggling to pass cars, even bicycles and uh, motorcycles. Keke, everybody will be struggling. It won't be easy for them because everywhere will be choked up due to overcrowds. This place I'm showing here is not a pedestrian bridge, but it's a normal bridge for cars. It is the one in Abuja, and they have been here for a long time ago, even though Wiki renovated many of them. Many of them have been there for years, getting old and dilapidated. Wiki came and then he first lifted many of them actually, and then it came back to normal. So what am I saying here? What I mean is that Wiki has not come out to openly make the statement that he is building the longest bridge in Abuja or in Africa or in Nigeria. But the way this man do things, I trust him that sometimes he will not make his plan openly. He will just come out and do a giant project that people would be wondering how. So this man has a plan like this. You just come out one day and start building something huge something huge because from the one he has done already both when he was a governor in a river state i know what he did many structures he erected both road and other infrastructure so that's why i'm trusting that he may consider building the longest bridge which is going to stand in the city of abuja in those places that is those locations that usually get overcrowded so it will ease movement and then the citizenry are going to be so happy about it because it's going to ease their movement both those ones using cars those ones using leg those ones using bike tricycle dispatch riders everyone using the road is going to be as in the residents of abuja generally they are going to be very happy Honorable MC Wiki, I know that you are one of the best politicians. If they get to count some politicians that are doing well in Nigeria, you will be among the first that they are going to bring out. You have been doing well so far in your in your field. So I trust you are going to do so. And I wish other other public office holders, I mean politicians, let them consider citizenry, even the economy, put it in order so that People that are hungry, many people are hungry in this time, especially 2024. Many people are hungry. People in authority, I pray that they will help the citizenry. Let people not keep dying in hunger. Please, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Thanks for watching and see you in other videos.